Stephen Avery case today. His lawyer Kathleen Zellner filed a motion requesting new forensic testing be done on pieces of evidence in the murder of Teresa Halbach. Currently, Avery is serving a life sentence for Halbach's 2005 death, and Zellner says these new tests will prove his innocence. NBC 26's Holly Baker was there as Zellner filed those documents. She joins us now to explain. After days of mounting anticipation, high profile Chicago lawyer Kathleen Zellner finally made an appearance in Manitowoc, filing a motion in person. This, this is going to answer everything. Asking for extensive forensic testing and retesting on evidence from the scene of the crime. He never made any incriminating statements. That's right. All right? The confession's been invalidated, so you're down to the evidence at the crime scene. That evidence Zellner believes will set Avery free and says a guilty person would never go through with this process. No one who's guilty would ever allow this to happen because they, these tests are going to establish definitively the age of the blood in the victim's vehicle. While she hasn't said who, Zellner has hinted she's got another suspect in mind and believes these tests will not only clear Avery's name, but cast guilt upon someone else. We are going to get to the bottom of who killed Teresa Halbach. It's good news for Avery's family, like his cousin Kim, who's been patiently waiting with the rest of the world. He will fight to the end to prove his innocence, and this is going to prove it, these tests. Zellner has requested testing of the blood in the RAV4, the key, the vehicle's hood latch, a pair of underwear, and the bullet, piecing together a crime scene she says doesn't make sense. We have all of Stephen Avery's blood in the front, all of the victim's blood in the back, he supposedly is cut and he throws her in the car. Testing is expected to be done both quickly and over the span of several months, while Avery's family can only wait. Oh, it could be over. It could be over real soon. I will be smiling until the test results come back. <laughs> I'm just super excited. In Manitowoc, Holly Baker, NBC 26. Stephen Avery's nephew, Brendan Dassey, was also convicted in the murder. Two weeks ago, a judge overturned that conviction, giving the state 90 days to file an appeal, retry him, or set him free.